What's up YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. All right, so um, today I got a comment from Mr. Shane McIntyre and some of the things that he said which I've highlighted are that companies don't train you on how to de-escalate a situation nor do they tell you what to pull from your belt if something does happen. And if you do something wrong, the company will be quick to drop you. And you know what? Shane is absolutely right. Uh, you know, when I first started in this security industry, um, I wasn't even told how to put my uniform on. And when I say that, I had my badge on the wrong side. I didn't know that you ideally keep it on the left side, right? Right above your heart. Um, I didn't know... Um, gosh, how to wear my duty belt. I didn't know how to interact with people. I had one guy at the end of the day say, hey man, uh, did you get your DAR done? And I'm like, what, my what? He says, your DAR, daily activity report. And I'm like, well, what's that? And he goes, ah, oh, that's a report where you have to, you know, turn in daily to say if you saw any suspicious activity or, you know, incident reports. I knew nothing, man. They literally told me, hey, you're going to be working at this one place. Uh, it was some sort of gated community. And they said, you're going to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then Thursday, you're going to go to a construction site. And then Friday, Saturday, we're going to have you go to some apartment uh, complex. And, uh, and I'm like, okay, sure. Thinking there would be somebody there to show me how to do something but it didn't happen I literally showed up and I'm like first day on the job and I'm thinking okay well what do I do do I walk around I mean I remember seeing security guards just kind of walk and you know look at things with their flashlight and that's pretty much what I did and then over time I realized oh you know you could look for gates that have been pried open or or points that might be um jeopardized easily you know fences that can be negotiated easily because they're broken and somebody can just jump over them um but yeah nobody trained me man um and to this day i've never had anybody tell me um what to pull from my belt to de-escalate a situation you know that's what youtube is for that's why i started this channel because there really is um not much training that a company will do. I mean, their main objective is to just get you out there and make money off you. That is the absolute objective of just about every company. You are a source of revenue for them, right? You do something and you make money and they make more money, right? So, um, yeah, uh, Shane, I, I got no training, man. I literally had to learn it uh on my own and i'll never forget on my third date i asked some guy a question i don't really remember what the question was but he kind of looked at me as if i was joking and he goes how long have you been doing security and i was like three days he goes ah oh, okay okay here man let me show you so uh i, did, I that's all i remember of i just remember him being kind of shocked that i didn't know this simple function and then he he showed me um, as far as teaching somebody how to de-escalate a situation, uh, I think the best you can do is give somebody pointers. That is something that, um, you know, de-escalating, I don't know if you can, yeah, I guess you could teach it, but it also should just come naturally for you. I mean, people should have some sense of logic going into this field. I mean, I have seen people escalate situations and I'm looking at them and I'm like, bro, chill out. Like I'll see somebody doing something wrong and uh, I'll approach them with, hey, look, my man, you know, you can't be doing this, right? Uh, this is private property or, you know, I'll approach it that way and it starts to de-escalate. The person's like, oh, my bad, I got to go. But I've seen other guards go up and say, hey, yo, man, come here. What are you doing? Come here, man. Let's have a talk real quick. And I'm like, ah, oh, bro, don't don't approach it like that. And then sure enough, the person's like, 
man, what are you calling me for? And he's like, man, come here before you get arrested. And I'm like, ah, oh, dude, don't go there. This is, It's way too early in the game. Give the guy a chance to at least explain what he's doing or, you know, uh, obviously some scenarios re require for you to be aggressive instantly. Like if I saw somebody doing some sort of felonious crime, I'm not going to be friendly with them. And when I mean felonious, I mean some guy trying to choke somebody out or, yeah, man, I'll approach it more aggressively. But if somebody's just like looking suspicious or hell, man, they could they could own the property. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'll never forget some dude. Um, he came on it came into the parking lot, beat up looking truck. And uh, I pulled up on him and I'm like I was driving and I pulled up on the side of him I'm like, hey, can I help you, man? And then uh, he's like, uh, no, not really. And I'm like, OK, can I ask why you're on this property? It's uh, it's private property and it's after hours. And he goes, oh, I own the place. And I'm like, you do? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, well, I apologize. He goes, no, I mean, that's what I'm paying you to be here for. So, uh, yeah, you just never know. But could you imagine if I would have came up to him more aggressively? Uh, he he could have cost our company the contract. So, you know, you, you, you never know. Maybe that person does have a purpose or a reason. So give them a chance to explain themselves. But, uh, yeah, Shane, I um, <clears throat> I got no training, my man. They uh, just put me straight out. You know, they, they put me out there. And then your, your last comment about uh, if you do something wrong, they would be quick to drop you. And that is true as well. I mean, if you mess something up, let's say that... Uh, Oh, you came off overly aggressive or <clears throat> you tried to stop a shoplifter, but you didn't know that you were not supposed to stop a shoplifter. You know, like the law says, oh, you can't touch them. You can't grab them. You can't pat them down. Uh, you would get fired and you would say, well, hell, nobody told me. And they would say, ah, oh, it was in your handbook. It was in your handbook. But let's face it, man. If, if a handbook is 180 pages long, really, who who does read that? I mean, as guys uh, and girls, we um, we don't read the instruction manual, right? And can you hold it against us if, you know, if we don't? Can you expect us to read it? I mean, I know I'm not going to read the employee handbook and, you know, so. So, yeah, man, it's there's there's a lack of training and um, you do pay the price in the end unless you have a company that really backs you up. Uh, I'll say that a lot of them don't. Uh, I, I would just suggest you get online and you just try to learn for yourself. Um, and a lot of jobs are like that. I'll never forget, man. I worked briefly in the electronics department at Walmart and uh, nobody ever trained me on a cash register. And I had a um, manager come by and say, oh, can you take that customer? And I'm like, oh, I, I've never ran a register before. She says, well, start her up. And if you get stuck doing something, just let me know. And I'm like, like, ring her up? She goes, yeah, it's easy. Just scan it and follow the prompts on the screen. And that was it. Literally, nobody taught me anything. So I go over there. I scan the item. I look at the screen, and it says uh, credit or cash. And I ask the lady, are you paying with cash or credit? And she's like, uh, I'll do cash. And I remember hitting the cash button and sitting there like, Dude, I don't even know what to do next. Uh, so then I had to call the manager and the manager goes here. And she just kind of aggressively hit the buttons and said, there, that's it. And then hit enter. This drawer will pop out. And then she walked away. And then she's like, you know, again, if you have any problems, just call me. But that's pretty much all you do. And I was thinking to myself, dude, I'm going to walk off the job right now. This is ridiculous. And um, she would have me stock things and do inventory. And I had no training. But you know, I guess through pressure, uh, you, you sort of learn. So, um, it's not always, I mean, that's just a Walmart scenario. I don't know, man, with security, I think there should be more training because you're dealing with life and death scenarios. Sometimes, you know, you could get yourself killed if you don't know what you're doing. So, um, yeah, man, I, I really, you know, I'll tell you what, when I start my company, I'm going to run things differently. I'm going to aim for better pay for employees. Um, more transparency. Uh, I like the idea of letting a uh, worker know what you're getting paid for that contract and then giving them a fair amount. That way they're more loyal 
and um, they they tend to work better. I know if I knew what this company was paying me, well, okay, let me let me take this back. The, the the post I'm at right now, I know they're paying my boss X amount of dollars. If my boss were to say, hey man, they're paying me this much, and after insurance and payroll and all that, this is how much I'm getting out of it, and this is how much I'm giving you. Is that fair? Man, I would love that, right? And I know that may not seem realistic, but that is the way I want to operate when I start my business. But I also want to be about training. I wouldn't mind having somebody shadow somebody for one day just to show them the ropes and uh, have open access to a phone number if they need to call for anything or text and say, hey, man, I'm, I'm a little hung up here. I don't know what to do. Um, so... All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks, Shane, for that question. Uh, yeah, I'm over here. It's uh, it's a Friday. Um, my boss still hasn't told me what my schedule is for the rest of the week. I don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow or not, but uh, pretty exhausted today, man. You know, I I this whole working in the daytime and then moving to graveyard shift, and man, it's really wearing me down. Um so I, you might be able to tell it in my voice maybe my eyes they're super red you know i've been taking these little cat naps here and there but that only makes things worse we're expecting to have uh where, where i live at which is only 40 minutes away 111 degree weather so right after this i gotta go home and start working my second job and be doing that until gosh until it gets dark probably so um yeah just a little update on my day there hey guys uh i hope the video helped answer some questions um as always you know know your worth know your value value your time and you know what let me let me tell you why i say value your time as well side story just about the log off but hell so they did a, a study i think a hundred thousand participants were um Ask this question and these participants were not <clears throat> were not your average people these were people on their deathbed so they asked roughly a hundred thousand patients on their deathbeds and when I say they I mean nurses they asked them what would you change in your life if you could change anything and almost all of them answered the same the answer was if I could change anything I would have valued my time more. I would have spent more time with my family and less time working. I would have spent more time with friends and less time in front of a TV. So ultimate and making memories. So ultimately, um, <clears throat> it came down to, you know, what was the meaning of life for them? It was just being around friends and family as much as possible. And then they asked them, "Well, did you?" spend enough time with friends and family and almost universally the answer was no i spent way too much time trying to accrue money to live a comfortable life not knowing that my life would be cut short and i would be laying here so guys when i say value your time your time is absolutely valuable i had a a uh, really smart guy once tell me you are only born with so many heartbeats in your life do not waste them. He said that when I was angry at somebody. I had some anger towards someone. And he said, you know, you're carrying this anger, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and uh, it's wasted heartbeats. So uh, when I tell you guys to value your time, you know, think about that. So again, know your worth because you are worth a lot. Know your value. You are absolutely valuable, especially your life. And uh, value your time because we only have a limited amount of that. But above all, be safe.